Oh man, am I excited to talk about Brawl in Cell Block 99. Let's get into this movie. I will first say that I have no complaints of any sort. None. This film, to me, was 10 out of 10. I loved every single second of it. Now, I am a little late to the party on this one. I run a Facebook group, a horror group, ton of great guys. They have been raving about this movie for a couple weeks. I meant to get on it, but I've been watching this, I've been watching that. I was gonna get to it. They finally threw it on Amazon Prime. I wasn't being cheap, it just was like, oh, perfect. Let's throw this on tonight. Threw it on, and my God, this is the most badass movie I've seen in a while. Now, I have heard people complaining about pacing issues. I had a girl at work tell me this was the worst movie she's seen in forever, and it was so slow, and this and that. And I totally understand where she's coming from. Absolutely. If this isn't your kind of film, you will be bored. I was laughing looking at the red box label because it had it labeled as an action movie. And I sat there and I kind of had a really quick moment where I was like, the people at Redbox are probably like, do we put action? Do we put drama? It doesn't really work either way. And I think that they settled on action because the level of violence in this movie. And when I say the level of violence, I don't mean like this is some Tokyo Gore Police fucking massacre with, you know, or the raid or something where they're fighting, you know, Vince Vaughn's going and beating the shit out of like 150 dudes. That's not this at all. This movie is, it takes its time, is slow and methodical. But when those fight scenes happen, they're quick but they are so memorable and they are so violent. I just gushed over this film because the director of this film, uh, the last film he did was a movie called Bone Tomahawk with Kurt Russell. Uh, If you have seen that movie, you will understand his style. He likes to draw things out and I have been cited saying that Bone Tomahawk possesses the most realistic, violent kill I've ever seen on screen in any film I've ever watched. It comes out of nowhere, the rest of the film is so slow, you're not expecting it, and it looks like they abducted a homeless man and just chopped him up. It is unbelievably graphic and the best scene of the movie because I'm a sick fuck. Um, this film has better pacing to me. Now, I, as I said, I, di- I did see people complaining about the pacing issue, but I had no problems with the pacing issue. I loved the drawn-out approach to this because Vince Vaughn's character in this film is this seemingly emotionless man. And within the film, he eventually gets sent to prison, which the title of this movie gets that away. That's not a surprise here. And he's tasked with something in order to save someone that he loves. And what I think that this film is able to achieve is that not only do we get to start to know a man that really truly seems to have no true emotion, and through this process of the film, we start to realize that this man is very broken (laughs) and you know you also get this sense of you know isolation this is a prison film it takes a long time for it to get to the prison you know longer than I expected didn't as I said I have no complaints about this movie I didn't know what to expect to be honest I knew it was gonna be slow and whatnot but There's long scenes of him in his prison cell when he doesn't have to put on the tough guy act anymore. And while he's not some crying, gushing little baby, there's just these subtle little things within his cell that you can see there is a normal man in there. And I love those long shots in the prison cell because it really makes me feel, the viewer, like I'm in prison with him and I start to feel that isolation. I start to feel the loneliness. 
And his character in this, Vince Vaughn, for me, gives the best performance he's ever given. Now, I am a fan of Vince Vaughn. He's not someone who I'm like, oh my God, Vince Vaughn's in this movie. I absolutely have to see it no matter what. No, that's not what I would say. But I do enjoy him. Um, and he has been in dramatic roles before, like Return to Paradise, which is a great film. And he is very dramatic in that. And, and it works completely. I think that he's a good dramatic actor. And he used to be primarily one until he kind of started getting into that typecasting of the fast-talking wise guy. Swingers was probably the one that put him into that role and we've seen that really fast talking kind of goofy guy for a while that you almost forgot that Vince Vaughn could act and he has no like remnants of that guy that's in Swingers or that's in Mr. and Mrs. Smith or any of those characters that he's played in the past you know that that's all washed away here. He is a character that I feel like me and my friends will be talking about for years to come. Anytime we talk about action movies or, or really badass characters, he will be a character that's brought up. He'll be like, well, was he as badass as, as Vince Vaughn and Brawl, you know, in Cell Block 99? Like, and the thing I love about his character is that even though we do see the man we this film it is just tweaked out of reality like it's not super realistic and that's where the grindhouse kind of stuff comes in because even the gore and i do understand that the gore in this film while extremely violent awesome shit it is purposely done to look a little fake and corny in the moments because as I said I've seen Bone Tomahawk and I know that this director has someone on call in the makeup department special effects whatever that can make the most realistic kill scene of all fucking time so if this movie wanted to be as realistic as that in these fucking violent scenes and this is probably not only due to the style that he was trying to create but maybe even possibly trying to get himself an R rating because this, if they would have put the level of gore into the kills that they did in this and since we get a good amount of them i don't think the film could have gotten anything under like an nc-17 or you know not even getting a rating <laughs> they like there's some violent shit in this but as i said i it's done more in line with the special effects of the 70s where it's clearly a dummy a mannequin uh this and that but it looks so good and in the moment it, it, it's so satisfying for somebody who loves violent ass movies and violent ass fight scenes now the fight scenes in this movie i don't want people to think that they are like some jackie chan the raid even van damme or like more recently like scott atkins those kinds of movies not like that in the slightest the fight scenes in this movie are are drawn out like wide shots, long shots, and it, Vince Vaughn's character is almost like a Frankenstein's monster of sorts, where it's almost comical how much damage this guy can take without even flinching, without even you know acknowledging that anyone just hit him. And the, the blows that he delivers, the amount of force and the magnitude of his punches and his hits and is over the top and it's exactly what it should be. And it is incredible. Um, I, I, I really enjoyed Jennifer Carpenter in this uh, and Don Johnson and, and plenty of the other people, but... Vince Vaughn is why this movie works. And of course, the director and plenty of people behind the camera, that's not what I'm saying, but in front of the camera, what makes this film work, what made this film amazing, and one of the best films I saw from 2017, easily in my top 10, easily, is Vince Vaughn playing this character so spot on. I do think this is a character that he'll be remembered for. 
that film fans like me will be like, oh yeah, but have you seen Brawl and Cell Block 99? Like, he's got plenty of work that's great and, and worth noteworthy and, and stuff you'll talk about, but this for me is his definitive role. Unless, of course, he does something even better in the future, maybe with this director. I don't know. But for now, this is my favorite Vince Vaughn performance ever. And my God, did I love this fucking movie. This is a must watch for 1970s grindhouse, slow burn, over the top, violent as fuck when it is. The violence is small. Most of the movie is slow in character development, but there's just enough going on at every moment that I'm always intrigued. I was always entertained. I was always waiting for the next moment. Never was I bored. Never once did I even want to look at my phone. This was fabulous. And I highly, highly recommend checking this out.